All right, so lucky about that. I guess this would be, this would be the part two, and I'm going to go, you know, straight into it. So, like I read in uh, on the first video, Jeremiah 15, 39, it says how at the end of the scripture, on Jeremiah 15, 39, therefore the wild beast of the desert with the wild beast of the island shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell there uh, therein, and it shall be no more inhabited forever. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Now, uh, this is going into the old ancient Babylon, but today, you know, people still are still living there. All right. So this is a prophecy that ha that has not come to pass yet. All right. And uh, America will happen to be daughter Babylon. All right. Because it follows the same ways as ancient Babylon, especially dealing with Easter going in uh, to Ishtar, you know. The uh, fertility uh, goddess or god like that, you know, and and America just got done celebrating that Easter, which really goes uh, into the word Pesach, which goes into the Passover. All right, verse forty, as the Most High through Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, said the Yahweh, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell there. So who are the sons of man? Who are that? Is us. All right. Yahweh Shai is the ultimate son of man. You know, he's the first. He's the only begotten son. But after the Mosai, after Yahweh and Yahweh Shai were, were ruling, first is Yahweh. Yahweh always been here. All right. Don't matter how he got here. That, that's not important. All right. He's always been here. You know, he created his son. His son created the rest of the other spirits. The, the elect first and the one third that, that which consists of elect. All right. So the sons of man are your so-called black Latinos, Native American, Hispanic, and Seminole Indians. All right. That's why this truth is is really important to us because the Lord has given us our heritage back. He's He's letting us know that you know we're His chosen people. But it starts with the man of our nation first, and then it's the women, then the children be led. You know, or or, or be taught. You know, we deal with order. All right, behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. This is talking about the ancient Babylon when they got taken down. But ultimately, the land of the north, if you look on the map, is going to go into Russia. Going back to uh, Isaiah 13 chapter, it talks about uh, the bows and the arrows. Well, in today's term, well, in today's uh, society, when you see a bow and arrow, it's not talking about like that. And, and for example, if you see a regular old bow and arrow, how the hell is that going to take down a nation? That that don't make sense. All right. It's talking about the nuclear missiles being shot off. All right. And that's how this place is going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. And no man shall dwell there from generation to generation. All right. And it says, uh, and they shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy, shoe mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea. Now, if you ever heard the sea or ocean, well, if you hear a nuclear missile or even a rocket ship taking off, you hear from the afterburners. You know, of course, you know, you, you'll find scoffers on the video scoffing and shit, but it, it's serious and it's common sense because this is about to happen to this country. And to other parts of the world, but the ultimate destruction is going to be here in America. All right. And it says, um, and they shall ride upon horses, everyone put in array, like a man to battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. All right. That no daughter of Babylon is America. All right. And that's plain and simple. And this truth is about faith. All right. It, it don't, it don't. Go by uh, you seeing and hearing every damn thing, you know. It, this is this is by faith, all right. And uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Isaiah real quick. And I don't know how much time I got left on my phone. It's, it's kind of pissing me off because I want to get more into it because this is important because recently. You have had uh, You have had uh, well, if you heard about the news dealing with Syria, the chemical attack. Well, the Russians are saying that 
basically uh, it was it was a planned attack, meaning basically somebody is trying to set Russia up, and you know what Russia saying makes sense because that's their allies. Syria is their allies. Why would they do that to their allies? America and Israel, the the, Am the Amalekites in the land of Israel, they need to have a reason, or they they want to. They want to go to war, all right? But it's for the destruction. But, of course, Russia's going to be destroyed, too. Magog and Gog is going to be destroyed, too, all right? And uh, long story short, here goes Isaiah 13. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start at 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. <laughs> Salakia. Sneezing. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses, that's like it. The houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged. That's going to come to pass too. When the economy drops, there's no more food, no more water, uh, no more lights, no more cell phones. You know, it's going to go. So basically, you know, it's, it's going to be combat out here. It's going to be hell out here, death, destruction. And a lot of these women that dress like hoes, you know, y'all going to be ravaged. You know, uh, these a lot of these women, they're going to be raped. Men, you have wives, you know, especially if you're not the elect of one third, you're not destined to be saved, you're going to go through some shit. You know your your wife's gonna be ravished. Even your children. That's it's gonna be it's gonna be demon heavy demons on people. And you don't want no part of that. So just believe in the Lord. Believe in His Son. Believe in Him. You know, do some work. You know, have faith and believe, man. You know, you're not you can't be saved without Yahweh. All right. And uh, behold, I will stir up the Medes, the land of the, uh, the, the, the what does it say in Jeremiah, from the north, the, uh, the oh, damn, Salakia. But uh, basically, this is the people from the north in Jeremiah uh, 50 and, uh, was it 40, 39 or 40, or 41, all right? I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. You know, so their, their riches, uh, their America's benefits, basically, you know, they're not going to they're not going to care. Oh, America wants to give us this. We don't care about that. They're going to want to destroy this country. Whether you have a, a baby in your stomach, they don't give a fuck about that. They don't care about your children. Russia's going to be like that. All right. It's going to get real like that. And that's the ultimate judgment. Of daughter Babylon, their bows, they go, they goes bows again. Also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall not have no pity on the fruit of the womb, babies. Their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldean ecstasy, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So, the old ancient Babylon was not overthrown like that. Of course, it went down. But as far as that whole continent, not the continent, the whole, uh, uh, the whole country of Iraq or even that whole city of Babylon, it's not like it was just desolate in the, in the land. It was not going to be any more people inhabiting there. All right. And it shall, and it, verse 20, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Same as what it said in Jeremiah, all right? And my phone is running out of space. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Yeah, because you, you Arabs like to uh, sell your, sell us tobacco products and so forth and bullshit GMO foods. So my phone's about to cut off. I'll praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Kalah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. All praises to him. Uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful left of the nation of Israel. The time is coming that the Lord is going to deliver the elect, the 144,000, the one-third of men, women, and children that believe him and believe the gospel. All right? Shalom.